called traditional rug hooking, mm -hmm. uh, the way pioneers did it to make rugs for cabin floors such as this. You can see that they're very rough and they're uneven. And uh, they usually did it on burlap, which is material similar to this. This is linen. It's very smooth. This mm -hmm. is burlap. If you felt it, it's rough and the linen is smooth. And they used potato sacks, and they would turn them inside out because potato sacks had printing on one side of whoever the potatoes were from. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, they would use the wool clothing that they wore because they had wools and cottons. So the wool clothing would be cut down from a man's coat or a man's trousers for a child's size. Mm -hmm. And then when they didn't need it anymore to cut down for a child, they would cut it into strips like this. And the strips were then pulled up through the holes in the um, in the burlap. They would draw very simple pictures on it. They called them primitives because they're very simple. Right. They almost looked like children drew the pictures. But you know it was a horse if you saw it. Right. Yeah. So what is done is the strips of wool, I hold it at the back, and I pull it up through that hole between the threads, and I make a loop. Mm -hmm. See, there's the loop. And that loop is supposed to be as high as it is wide. But because these loops are high, because it says wide, mm -hmm. I have to make these match. But ordinarily, these would be tucked down really low, like that uh -huh. in there. So I just simply paint with the wool. I fill in all the holes as I go along. They, they like to be cozy, but not too crowded. Otherwise, your rug, if they have to push too tight, the rug will hump. Mm, and you won't have okay. a flat rug. Yeah. Um, the loops are on the top, and if you look at the back, the back is smooth. The back is completely smooth. Right. In fact, you can see the design better on the back than the front because uh, by keeping it smooth. But the mm. wool loops on the top make it wool look woolly. And you get a rug out of it. And then the back is done purposely smooth so it doesn't catch on, you know, mm -hmm. the rough floors. And so they used up all their wools in hook rugs of simple designs that they drew up themselves because they didn't have art training or anything like that. And then when they got cotton from a general store and made their Sunday best dress or they had to make dresses, they would save the scraps from that to make the coats. And then when, when the dress got worn out and it couldn't be used in a little piece in a quilt or was completely worn out, they would cut it in strips and braid it like a child's hair braid and make, make oval or circular braided rugs for their floors. And that was a way of a creative outlet in the winter because this was done over the winter when they couldn't work out in the Field, right. But as soon as the summer would come, they wouldn't. They'd be preserving food all summer. But in the winter, they would quilt or do this or do basket weaving or different forms of embroidery and nice work. So this is traditional nice. hooking, rug cooking, exactly the way the pioneers would have done it. Now they wouldn't have had the fancy frame. No. But they would have put it across their knees and done it right on a strip across oh their knees. And uh, some of the designs that you can see in this today are very spectacular. I have a little ladybug. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not a rug. It's a piece for the center of the table. But right at the end of the table, there's a little mm -hmm. ladybug. Oh. And that is hooked as well. It's done the same way. Yes. But that's a modern, uh, a modern thing. Their hooking went on the floor. Hmm. And then, of course, the rug would last... Yeah. you know, being wool, and then to wash it, they would drag them through the snow. They would drag both sides over snow, really? and that would clean it a little bit for them, yes. Huh. Because it's wool, and the cold water certainly wouldn't hurt it. And we have a rug cooking club in St. Thomas, out of the okay. Elton County Museum. Perfect.